Good afternoon, kids. It is near, uh, it's 12 5 p.m. Uh, it's June 4th, 2023, episode 2147. I am not high. I've just only been up for like 35 minutes and I'm halfway through my first cup of coffee. Excuse me. Ooh. Love it. This is yesterday's cartoon, and as you can see from the rough, it started off as something else. Um, the whole thing about Biden stripping and falling down, uh, Republicans are loving it, they're mocking him, they're laughing at it. And at first, Donald Trump seemed like he, he was going to mock it, and then it seemed like he had some concern, like, I hope he wasn't hurt, but then it really kind of turned out to be patronizing. And then I went over to his YouTube, not his YouTube, you're on YouTube, I swear I'm not, I, I went over to his true social page, and he was posting these videos with like these uh, edited in voiceovers to make it like Republican funny, I guess. Uh, just mocking him and stuff. So I thought, yeah, Donald Trump doesn't care. He doesn't care. But we're, well, they're forgetting that Donald Trump is the guy that, you know, he needs two hands to, to hold a little water bottle. He, he's afraid to go outside in the rain. He's afraid of stairs. Um, it, what was the other ones I'm forgetting about? There's a whole bunch of things I'm forgetting about. And I read them in my blog. But this is not a manly person. I mean, this is, oh yeah, he did that little baby tippy toe step thingy on that ramp. Um, and you know, some things, I, I can understand that. Like, th there's this like incline at the college where I walk, and when you're going down, I always feel like 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 it kind of speed up because it's such an incline. So I'm a little bit worried about that one when I walk down it because there's no handrails or nothing. I was like, eh. I just kind of balance myself, and maybe I'll walk like a baby a bit. Um, but and, but people trip, people fall down. I I trip over my shoes because uh, I don't really put my shoes in a proper place. They're all lined up next to my desk, and half the time I stand up, I kick one of them. Um, and I, I will trip. I fell down uh, a few months ago at the movies because there's a step where it was like, I didn't see the sign that said watch the step because it was like a step off. You're walking from one room into the next and it's like half a foot <laughs> lower. And I actually just crashed. I didn't face plant, but I got, I actually hurt my elbow and my knee because I, I hit the ground so hard. Um, but uh, they should be at a little ramp right there, right? So. It happens. Shit happens. Uh, I've always fallen down. Uh, clear, clean and sober. You know, just falling down. I was sober that time at the movies. Um, and I was kind of mad, too. It's like, mother fuck. What's, why, why would you make this like this? Why? How many times have I been sued over that? Anyway, but Joe Biden tripped over a sandbag at, the, at this commencement speech graduation at the Air Force Academy, I believe. And uh, so... Um, Republicans just love it, but they're forgetting that who their dear leader is. Uh, he's not a manly person. Uh, so, and, and also today was making fun of old men for falling down. Seriously, seriously, come on, people. He's eighty years old. He's eighty years old. That doesn't mean anything that he's not qualified to be president, or whatever. And who was a sandbag right there on the stage? Jeez. All right, got some comments, from Robert Cotino. Actually, all the comments. I got three of them. They're all picking out their their favorites from the collection of roughs, and I like it when people do that. I ask them to do that. Uh, so uh, I got a cup. Robert Cotino picked a cup ball, and uh, Tito he, he liked one. Uh, did it? Which one did he like? Uh, did, 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 uh, uh, he didn't say, but that's fine. But we did talk about the pizza that he's having. Uh, and Vona picked picked one. Uh, thank you very much, uh, guys. Thank you for your comments. Uh, today's cartoon. This one took a while because, uh, as usual, it started off as just something very simple. Uh, Trump's going up the steps and that. Uh, um, in the, the stair chair, whatever they call the stair lift. And then as I'm going, I think, oh, well, I need to add some other things in here. Let's add some photos. And I start thinking about the photos and then I think about who needs to be in them. And then I, I redraw several of them um, again and again and again. I even redrew Boris several times. Um, but the, the, the trickiest one, uh, usually I, I have a hard time with Putin, um, not so much anymore, <clears throat> but the trickiest one for me in this one, as you can see how many times I drew it, was uh, Jeffrey Epstein, because there's just something about the guy that you just have to capture him, and I looked in the past to see how many times I've drawn him, and I think I've only drawn him once, and it didn't look like him at all, so this one's probably much better, um, so, but I kind of wish he was still alive so I could draw him again, but you know what, I think I am going to draw him again anyway, so he's one of those guys that just, you don't care about Fuck that guy. So, uh, it's a horrible, vile human being, just like Donald Trump. Guys, talk to you later. Bye.